If you're like a lot of people, you experience a little bit of anxiety when it comes time to doing medication math. There are a couple answers to how to fix this. One is just practice, practice, practice. And that's why I do these segments is to give you a chance to just spend five, six, seven minutes doing a little bit of medication math. But I also remember back to paramedic school when my instructor gave the class a really good piece of advice, and that's this. If your brain is not wrapping around a concept from one particular direction, find somebody who can explain it to you a different way and perhaps your brain will wrap around it from that angle instead of the way that you've been trying to understand things. So let's take a look at this mic per minute formula and see if I can wrap this around your brain from a different direction. My task here is to give an infusion of mics per minute and we'll choose epinephrine and a real standard dose for epinephrine is going to be five mics per minute. I reach into my pocket and I pull out my reference cards and I find this formula. Micrograms or mics times 60 divided by concentration equals milliliters per hour. The milliliters per hour is the number we're looking for so we can program our pump. The dose we're going to give came from the doctor's orders or from our protocols, in this case, 5 micrograms times 60. What's the 60 about? Well, the orders are for micrograms per minute. So imagine a clock ticking and the first minute we give this 5 microgram increment. And then a minute later, we give another 5 mics. And another minute, we give another 5 mics. Every minute that goes by is another 5 mic dose. And that keeps happening every minute for a full hour. And we wind up with 60 of these little 5 mic doses. And that's how we wind up multiplying by 60. The 5 mic dose times 60 adds to everything we're going to give over that hour. And the only other math we have left is to calculate the concentration. And that's simple math. If we take the total amount of drug and the total amount of fluid measured in milliliters, we'll wind up with the concentration. So if we put one milligram, which is the same as a thousand micrograms, into a 500 milliliter bag, that's a thousand divided by 500, and our concentration is two micrograms per milliliter. And now all you have to do is the math. Five times 60 divided by two will get you 150 milliliters per hour. How much more complicated is it than if we change to a weight-based dose, and instead of saying micrograms per minute, we switch to micrograms per kilogram per minute. Is it really that much more complicated? Calculating the concentration stays the same. We still have to multiply the minute by minute dose times 60 in order to get it to hours. The only thing that's different is instead of micrograms, you're changing your dosing to probably something like 0.1 microgram per kilogram. If this uh, hypothetical patient weighs 90 kilograms, then it's 0.1 times 90, 60 times. 0.1 times 90 times 60 divided by two gets you your final answer of that's 270 milliliters per hour. And there you see two different ways of calculating it and a new way of thinking about dosing that is done by the minute. It's also kind of interesting that the non-weight based dose is 150 milliliters an hour and the weight based dose is 270, almost twice as much. And that's a reminder that the non-weight based dose is just an estimate. If you want to be accurate and give the patient exactly what they need, go with the weight based dose. The math isn't much more complicated, is it? Well, that's all I got for this one. I thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.